They say it's hard to improve on a classic and in the case of the iconic Datsun 240Z, we'd have to agree. This iconic sports car was introduced in late 1969 as a halo vehicle for the growing Japanese brand. Since the 240, the Z name has appeared on a further five generations, including most recently on the 370Z, which has been lightly updated for 2018. But does the modern equivalent hold a candle to the original? The original 240Z was introduced to fill a void in Nissan's portfolio for a genuine sports car. Bearing the model designation S30, it was sold as the Nissan Fairlady Z in Japan and the Datsun 240Z in overseas markets, instantly winning acclaim for its styling and its performance. Powered by a six-cylinder, 2.4-litre petrol engine, the rear-drive two-door coupe was originally introduced with a manual gearbox, an auto coming later in 1970. Competitively priced against the established European sports car brands, the 240Z found favour with car critics and owners alike, and quickly established the Z name as a performance moniker to be reckoned with. In Australia, the 240Z was a refreshing change from the grunt of locally built V8 muscle cars, and today it still stands out with its modernist design and remains a relatively affordable classic with good examples available on car sales for under $40,000. With the Datsun 240Z being such a popular car for modifications, there aren't many that remain unchanged, and this car underwent a full engine and paint restoration in 2014. The current owner has stayed true to the original intent of the 240Z, adding triple Weber carbies and an electric fuel pump to the already reconditioned engine, its aero upgrades, adjustable coilovers, retrimmed seats and new wheels and tyres. Fast forward almost 50 years from the launch of the 240Z and the 370Z continues Nissan's focus on sharply styled sports cars. In comparison to the original car, the 3.7-litre naturally aspirated V6 engine of the 370Z offers stacks more power and torque. And of course, the car adds modern safety features too, including electronic stability control. There is a lot to be said about the conveniences of a modern car. Things like central locking, air conditioning, and in this one, chilled seats, are all things that we start to take for granted, especially if you're not the owner of a classic. And in the Datsun 240Z, you don't get any of those things. But what you do get is the sensation of driving a real enthusiast's vehicle. Yes, there's no air conditioning and you do miss out on an awful lot of the technology that we're really used to nowadays, things like Bluetooth streaming, for instance. But just the fact that you've got those beautiful exterior lines, the noise from the exhaust, the noise from those added extractors really does make that drive pretty special. In comparison with other new cars, however, the 370Z is showing its age. It's been refreshed in recent years, but as it stands today, it's almost 10 years old. And as a result, its infotainment, technology and interfaces are now a bit old hat. And we're yet to be convinced that the 370Z will be seen as a classic in the same way that the original is revered today. But the great thing about this feature is that we don't have to choose a winner. We'll take the 370Z and all its modern conveniences for our daily commute and the 240Z on the weekend.